A very good morning and a warm welcome to today's celebration of the Holy Eucharist from Redemptorist Media Center. During this Holy Mass, we pray for the following intentions. We pray for the repose of the souls of Anthony de Costa, Edward Rodericks, Crystal Frutal, Ian de Souza, Lude Tarsus, Bruce Emmanuel, C.A. Arun and C.A. Maria Ranch, Maria Swami, Sharin Kunsesau, Mr. C.A. Divyanathan, Mr. Camillus Bonaventure, Mrs. Vasanta Martin, Peter Francis, Dr. Sheila Bernard, for all the souls in purgatory, Teresa Nathan and Jnanamani, Mrs. Virginia Anthony, J. Manoharan, Cecilia Jayamary, Raymond Deepak, for all the dear departed souls in purgatory and souls in the family of Golda, George de Costa, Mrs. Mary Chandra, Edith Machado, Sister Alexander, Severin Louis de Souza, Peter Sebastian de Souza, Christine Pinto, Simon Sebastian, Andrew de Souza, Edith Machado, Yvonne and Ashok Hule, Mrs. Clotty Raj. We also offer this Holy Eucharist as thanksgiving for the following intentions on the birthday of Joshua Lobo, wedding anniversary of Judy and Ravi Kumar, on the birthday of Joshua Lobo, on the 25th silver wedding anniversary of Andrew and Patricia de Costa, for good health and favors received by Lucas and Marie de Sa and family, to St. Gerard by Maria and Mario Dove, to Mother of Perpetual Help by Maria and Mario Dove, Thanksgiving on the birthday of Mrs. Myrtle from Sri Lanka, for all the blessings received by Jake Poppin and Shania Poppin, on the 42nd wedding anniversary of Simon Lewis and Agnes Lilly, on the birthday of Dean J. De Souza, on the birthday of Ramona Menezes, on the birthday of Leona Menezes, on the birthday of Giselle Pinto, on the birthday of Avinash De Souza, on the birthday of Sarita De Souza, on the birthday of Keith Sebastian, and on the birthday of Diana Sebastian. We also offer this Holy Eucharist for the special intentions for healing and good health of Benu, guidance for making a decision for Augusto Rodriguez, special intentions of Cheryl Joes, for good health of Kruti, good health and speedy recovery from COVID-19 for Patricia and family, for healing and protection of the precious blood of our Lord by Delna de Costa, healing and recovery for Mrs. Antoinette Vaz, and special intentions of Joyce Nathan. With these intentions and with our own, let us now prayfully participate in this Holy Eucharist. As we gather in this place today, Holy Spirit, come and have your way. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, Jesus chose his disciples to continue the mission he established on earth. And today the church remembers St. John the Brito, a missioner and a martyr who dedicated his life for the sake of the gospel. And today, as we, as we enter into the mystery of Christ, let us, let us prepare ourselves to celebrate this Holy Eucharist. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, 
that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, by whose gift St. John the Brito fought for the righteousness' sake, even until death, grant, we pray, through his intercession, that we may bear every adversity for the sake of your love and hasten with all our strength towards you who alone are life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brethren, you have not come to what may be touched, a blazing fire and darkness and gloom and a tempest and the sound of a trumpet and a voice whose words made the hearers beg that no further message be spoken to them. Indeed, so testifying was a sight that Moses said, I tremble with fear. But you have come to Mount Zion and to the city of the living God, the heavenly Jerusalem, and to innumerable angels in festal gathering, and to the assembly of the firstborn who are enrolled in heaven, and to God the judge of all, and to the spirits of the righteous made perfect, and to Jesus, the mediator of a new covenant, and to the sprinkled blood that speaks a better word than the blood of Abel. The word of the Lord. Thanks yes. be to God. Our response. We have received your mercy, O Lord, in the midst of your temple. We have received your, your mercy, mercy, O Lord, Lord in the midst, the midst of, of your temple. temple. Great is the Lord and highly to be praised in the city of our God. His holy mountain rises in beauty, the joy of all the earth. We, we have, have received your, your mercy, mercy, O Lord, in the, the midst, midst of your, your temple. temple. Mount Zion, in the heart of the north, the city of the mighty king, God in the midst of its citadels, has shown himself its stronghold. We, we have, have received your mercy, mercy, O Lord, in, in the, the midst of, of your temple. As we have heard, so we have seen in the city of our God, in the city of the Lord of hosts, which God establishes forever. We have, we have received, received your mercy, O Lord, Lord in, the in the midst of, of your temple. temple. Your merciful love, O God, we ponder in your temple. Your praise, O God, like your name, reaches the ends of the earth. Your right hand is filled with saving justice. We, we have, have received, received your, your mercy, mercy, O Lord, Lord in, in the, the midst, midst of, of your, your temple. temple. Kindly stand for the gospel. The kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. 
The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, Jesus called the twelve and began to send them out two by two and gave them authority over the unclean spirits. He charged them to take nothing for their journey except a staff, no bread, no bag, no money in their belts, but to wear sandals and not put on two tunics. And he said to them, Whenever you enter a house, stay there until you depart from there. And if any place will not receive you, and they will not listen to you, when you leave, shake off the dust that is on your feet as a testimony against them. So they went out and proclaimed that people should repent, and they cast out many demons and anointed with oil many who were sick and healed them. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, in the Gospel of today, we hear Jesus sends his disciples out for a mission. And before sending, he instructs them. And first thing we see, Jesus sends them in pairs. He sends them two by two. Because he knew the disciples' strengths and the weaknesses. During the mission, they may have to face difficulties, challenges, and they may not be able to stand and to support each other, Jesus sends them two by two. Second thing we see, Jesus commanded them not to take any extra luggage with them so that they may be focused on their mission. They should have trust in the providence of God and the goodwill of people. And they may continue the mission of Christ without any distraction. The third thing we see, the disciples of Jesus were uneducated. They were very simple people. And they thought that they will not be able to fulfill the responsibility given to them. But when they start the mission that is instructed, instru instru entrusted to them, they could see God working through them. They could see they are able to perform miracles. It is because God was with them. And they trusted and they went out to do the will of God. Today's saint, St. John the Brito, who was a missioner, who came to India, who dedicated his life entirely for the gospel, for the sake of the gospel. And ultimately, he had to shed his blood. He had to offer his life for the sake of the gospel. What about us? We are all followers of Christ. We are given the responsibility to spread the love of Christ among people. There are difficulties, there are challenges, there are moments when we fail. But if we have trust in God, if we have confidence that God will be 
always with us in times of our trials, in times of difficulties. And then definitely God will do miracles through our life. So as we celebrate this Eucharist, let us have faith and confidence in the providence of God that we may be able to do our responsibility and also do the will of God in our lives. Let us pray for this grace. Amen. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Most merciful God, pour out your blessing upon these offerings and confirm us in the faith that St. John the Brito professed by the shedding of his blood through Christ. Our Lord, Amen. the Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. He is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for the blood of your Saint John the Brito, Pour out like Christ to glorify your name. Shows forth your marvelous works by which in our weakness you perfect your power and on the feeble bestow strength to bear you witness through Christ our Lord. And so with the powers of heavens and worship you constantly on earth and before your majesty without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the dew fall, 
so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Peter Machado our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be called to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, <coughs> hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come, thy, thy will, will be done, done on earth as, as it is, is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you, that you should enter under my roof. roof. 
but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. An act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are truly present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to possess you within my soul. Since I am unable now to receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as being already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Prayer for the end of the pandemic. Almighty and merciful Father, who show your love to all your creation, we come before you asking for a quick control of the coronavirus currently ravaging our world. Hear graciously the prayers we make for those affected by the virus in various parts of the world. Grant healing to the sick, eternal life to the dead, and consolation to the bereaved families. Protect doctors, nurses, and others serving the sick. We pray that as medicines and vaccines to combat the sickness are being found, they may be effectively and equitably distributed to the most vulnerable populations all over the world. We pray for all governments and health authorities that they take appropriate steps for the good of the people. We make our prayer in the name of Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord and Redeemer. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Made new by these sacred mysteries, we pray, O Lord, that imitating the wondrous constancy of St. John the Brito, we may merit an eternal reward for suffering endured through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Oh, 